Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about church foam. Our foam technologies took a long time to create, cost a lot to create, and we use it a lot in churches. So there's reasons for it. We're going to walk through some of those reasons. So let's examine what the product of a church is. A well, church really isn't a business. It doesn't sell product, but if you think about it in terms of acoustics, it, it kind of does. And what's the product? Well, voice and music, right? Those are the two things that churches are known for. We have the spoken word from the leader of the church, and then we usually have any, a musical support or, or background for that choir, band, whatever the musical source is. So we have spoken word uh, sung, played, spoken, so we have three of those issues going on. And then we know that speech intelligibility in churches suffers greatly when reverberation times get high. And reverberation times and speech intelligibility are directly related. So we want to make sure that everything sounds like music. We have speech intelligibility. We have everything that we need in order to have comprehension of what's going on. Now. The most critical frequency range for voice and probably music is that 125 to 500 cycle range. And that range has got to be managed almost perfectly because you've got to get that right at the beginning. If you don't get that right at the beginning, you're going to fight and struggle with it all the way through the frequency range up to six, seven, eight thousand cycles. Okay? So we want to make sure that that's good. This range here, 125 to 500, is directly responsible for the speech intelligibility index. Now, what is that? Speech intelligibility is how many words in a 10-word sentence can you understand? Can you hear first and then understand? But you've got to hear it first before you have comprehension. So you have to have listening, hearing, and comprehension, right? So in churches, we, we try to get an 80% or better, meaning eight out of every 10 words in a sentence are heard, hopefully understood, okay? Most churches that we see in the analysis that we run, they're in, you know, the 40s and 50s. Want to get it up. How do we get it up? We manage the reflections off the surface areas with absorption. Our foam technology is revolutionary. Eight years, 12 prototypes, $2 million to create. It's used all over the world. Engineers love it. They call it organic for voice and music. They just Love it. Most of them don't even touch it right out of the gate. They just drop it right in the mix. That's a pretty good compliment to be paid as the designer and manufacturer of, of a certain product. So let's look at our foam curves. Let's look at this 125 to 50 cycle re region. Look at this graphic comparing our foam to Oralex and Sonex, which at the time were the two leading foam companies in the business. You can see a big difference in the 125 to 500 cycle range. Ours is smooth, ours is linear. No spatial irregularities, no dropouts. And you see the Sonex and the Oralex have big dropouts, okay, for two inch thicknesses. So smoothness, linearity, no peaks or troughs in the response. That nice smooth curve gives us the great performance and gives us the label organic, a lot of engineers uh, use, which means natural, not overabsorbed, not underabsorbed, just taking enough off to minimize the impacts of reflection and lower reverberation times. Now, we have a program for DIY program for churches and schools where we sell you the foam, we do the analysis for free, we sell you the foam, and then you build the support structure to go around our foam. It's basically a frame, a wood frame, like a picture frame, because our foam is not rich enough to stand on its own, especially in the big sheets that we make. Our big sheets are four by six foot on average size. 26 square feet each sheet. That helps us with our reverberation calculations when we're looking at large surface areas like we have with churches and schools. So what do we get from all of this? We get that this 125 to 500 cycle range has got to be done correctly. And you can see, you know, in the graphic that we showed that we did that. And that's what I found after years and years of research to be that critical range. And we took care of that in this foam. So 
That's the first thing we have to do. The next thing we have to do is how much surface area coverage on each wall. Each wall is a little bit different. We might need two inches on one wall. We might need four inches on another wall. We might need six inches on another wall. Just depends, but the analysis will help us determine that. So church foam, proper range from 125 to 500 is critical. We have a DIY program where we just sell you the foam at 15% over our cost. And then you build the units and we give you drawings for that. And with the design, you're able to say, all right, this surface area needs eight panels and we'll show you where to position them. Or this surface area needs 12 panels, four inches deep, and we'll show you through the analysis where to put those. So church foam, it gets the right frequency range, 125 to 500 cycles. That's the key frequency range for voice and music, speech intelligibility, and managing reverberation times. I really hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions, and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum, and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.